Okay, so it is 2.35 now. Shall we start? Can I have a green light from the host? Host okay ke? Kita start ya? Everything is okay. You can start now. All right. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon um, to uh, our speakers, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Azma Putra, as well as our second speaker, um, Ustaz Rizwan Abdullah. Uh, before we begin, uh, and also our participants, okay, before we begin, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, the name is Harwati and I'll be your moderator for this, this session. Uh, welcome to the second last session of the Apple Professional Learning Series. Uh, this is the second series apart from the first series that we have previously uh, between 1st to 14 April. And um, today we have another session to be shared by two speakers, which are on developing 3D models for asynchronous teaching using Shepard 3D. I hope I pronounce it correctly, Shepard 3D. Okay, right. Uh, before that, uh, I would like to highlight, these are among the sessions that we have uh, from the 15 uh, up until today, uh, 27. That's why I mentioned just now, this is our second last session and tomorrow will be our final session for this series. Okay, so, and these are our professional learning uh, providers, our speakers, they are among of the distinguished educators. They are also certified professional learning specialists. They are also among them certified professional learning provider and they are also among them certified Apple teachers. So we have um, 18 speakers so far up until tomorrow for this series. Okay. Uh, before that, we I would like to hi, um, I would like to gladly inform that we have a Facebook on Apple Learning Community Malaysia. It's a group, so feel free to join the group because we will have uh, a lot of information shared in this group as well as uh, info details in case if you need to consult anything. So this is a group where we share all the information on Apple Learning from Malaysia. Okay, uh, please allow me to briefly explain on the online workshop guidelines before we start. Uh, we would appreciate all participants to ensure your mic is on mute mode during the session. Uh, this is because this session will be recorded, so we would appreciate there is no disruption from the participant in terms of uh, extra noise. Lah. Okay, and if you do have questions, please use the chat feature to ask questions during the presentation. And um, there will be a Q&A session at the end of the program if you really need to ask the questions orally. Uh, do not use the screen sharing feature when trainer is sharing his or her or their presentation. As for participants who require sentence form, Borang kehadiran and also the feedback forms will be shown before the session ends. And we will also share the links yeah, in the chat box later. So don't worry if you miss the QR code. And also for smart attendance for UKM lecturers, uh, it will be displayed at the end of the session. All right. Um, so without further ado, uh, I would like to begin this session. Um, the title is Developing 3D Models for Asynchronous Teaching Using Shuffle Sh 3D. And before doing that, allow me to introduce two of our speakers. We have Associate Professor Dr. Azama Putra and also Ustaz Rizwan Abdullah. Um, Dr. Azama Putra eh, uh, is, uh, received his uh, bachelor degree from ITB Indonesia and also his uh, science and PhD from Institute of Sound and Web. Am I right? Am I correct, Doctor? Technical Malacca, and also his research interests are in engineering acoustic vibration, structural dynamics, and vibroacoustics. He is also involved in several projects on vibration analysis and monitoring with oil and gas and power plant industry. And for your information, Dr. Azma Putra is a um, certified distinguished educator as well as certified professional learning uh, specialist. And not to forget our second speaker, uh, Ustaz Rizwan Abdullah. Uh, 
He is from MRSM Tun Gafa Baba Jasin Melaka and he is the Guru Chumalang in um, Pendidikan Islam talking about um, having innovative teaching and learning. Um, Pendidikan Islam is not to be left behind because we have Ustaz Rizwan also in Agama Islam who is very uh, what they call savvy in uh, uh, innovative pedagogy. So without further ado, I would like to pass the session or the virtual floor to both of our speakers, Dr. Azma Putra and Ustaz Rizwan. Please welcome. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Hawati. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Right. We share my screen first. See my screen. Yes, we can see. Uh, yeah, we can see your screen. Okay, right. Okay, assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all participants. Okay, first of all, uh, Ramadan Karim to all Muslims. So today we are looking for developing uh, 3D model for teaching using uh, Sharper 3D. So before that, please download this application to your application App Store. Yeah, I think most of them should have downloaded it because we have spread the information in our many of the Facebook groups and also other channels. Okay, Hopefully. Right. <laughs> Hopefully. So I want to introduce myself again. And again, uh, my name is Rizwan bin Abdullah. I'm from MRSM Tun Gafur Baba, Jasin Melaka, and I'm teaching Islamic education. So, uh, so sorry if my English sounds like a bit of Arabic sound. <laughs> so even though I'm an Islamic education teacher, so I would like to, to share with you about using Sharp 3D. Maybe it can be used in RBT, subject RBT, Rekabentuk Technology, Design Technology, in Mathematics, Physics or Science, and for another, uh, for another application. Okay, before I start my sharing today, I would like to show you about this uh, video first here also. Can imagine what is your future dream car? Okay, what you can imagine uh, what is your future dream car? Or you want to ask your student how about your student's future uh, dream car? So how to know your student uh, future dream car? So maybe you can uh, just you can uh, maybe they can just draw some design on the paper then see to you. But it's uh, but for me it's not a real model. You can just fold and cannot manipulate it. So, uh, so uh, we can use another method to produce a design using a three D model. So maybe if you are engineering lecturer or physics teacher or another else, you want to a student to produce a car which is the design is suitable with their with their need. Uh, the design aspect is very important. So. With 3D model, our student can uh, produce a car design with several aspects, such as uh, aerodynamic, uh, the shape, and the center of the gravity to make it more uh, more simple. So this criteria is important to make sure uh, that the car design more safe, uh, make more economical, economical. Other than so, uh, other than designing a car, we want to make sure the student looking at this. Criteria. So, and of course, uh, they can also design the car, uh, car engine to make it uh, fit uh, for their car. For example, you can see the Tarwati? Yes, I will start. We can see very clearly. Okay, for example, okay, car engine. And then, uh, how about the the cassette? 
So our student can design the cushion height, uh, width, length, and uh, back back backrest to make it comfortable that can support our posture or back posture. In Jawa, we call it tak uh, sakit belakang lah. When uh, <laughs> when we drive for a long time. So the key here, uh, your student can draw and make it a uh, 3D model, and they can re, uh, re rearrange or change the design when not suitable after the after the research they have uh, they have done. So uh, 3D model also uh, can be used in your interior design to measure or estimate the space for furniture in our area for your house to to arrange and make it look nice. Oh. Uh, uh, from this example, uh, so I a bit question why we using 3D modeling. So can you please comment at the chat board? See the chat board. Okay, uh, Ustaz Shukri would appreciate if anyone would like to respond why do we need 3D modeling in teaching and learning? Is that so, Ustaz Shukri? Yeah, Ustaz Ridwan, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay, Ustaz yeah. Ridwan was asking the participant to respond in the chat box why do we need a 3D modeling, right? Yeah, right. I can see, I can. I cannot see the comment. Okay, Um. I will try to read. Yeah, okay, Dr. Maniza is, um, would like to respond to it. Probably to make it realistic, uh, represent the, the reality. Yes, yes, it, exactly. Okay. Yes, uh, and also we have one answer from, uh, I think Dr. Muhammad Zairi Bahru mentioned that is for better visualization. Yes, exactly. That's right. So, um, interactive, I don't know what this is, interactive. So, so we 3D models. Uh, we can view from three dimension height, length, and width. So it may make it realistic, easy, and quick. So um, based on our design, uh, become more vivid, and our student can take it a uh, visual, visual, visual tower of our project. So then we can also quick check whether a new plan is variable or not. And uh, and, and uh, image speak than thousand words. So these two pictures compare both of the design for 3D design and 3D design. So you can compare uh, both of the of the, the pictures. So for sure, of course, 3D design, uh, 3D model is better than 2D, uh, 2D model uh, because uh, 3D model give you more more impact. Right? So uh, for example. Um, for example, house seller normally when they use 3D model, so they have uh, help them for better marketing and easy to remodeling and, and make a, make a correction. Okay. okay, so far this uh, sharing, I would like to share a simple 3D model, which is uh, a bookshelf based on this measurement. Actually, uh, this is my simple planning uh, to create a bookshelf. So, uh, so far, we so we are seeing your application sharing. Is that uh, what you're trying to share? Sharing, yes, yes, yes. So before we start uh, to make a three D model, it is good if we have uh, our plan first. Okay, you can sketch on the paper or something else. This is my planning to create a book rack bookshelf about 200 uh, 200 centimeter uh, high and 150 width so this is uh, end product you can see we we can't see your screen you can see yeah are you sharing a screen now okay. is that sharing first okay, you can try to reshare Okay, as for now, not yet. Yes, okay. So, uh, while doing that, um, I will probably 
um, not to summarize, but to highlight whatever mentioned by Ustaz Rizwan just now is uh, planning is very important. Yeah, Ustaz? Yeah, planning is very important. Now we can see your iPad screen. Uh, sorry, okay. you are okay. All right. So it's the shelf now. Okay. Right. Okay. Sorry, yes. This is our end product. We want to play. See the shape. Uh, nice. 3D product. Mm. We have the product. This is 2D product. We can uh, sketch on the paper by another F, then we transform to the 3D product like this. Okay. So um, if we have still more time, more time, so we are going to do another design. Actually, this is from uh, from form two textbook subject like bentuk technology or, or design technology. If you have more time, lah. So uh, now open the app sharp sharp the sharp three D sharp three D. So all participants, please open sharp three D right now. So to draw uh, with sharp, sharper 3D, you must have uh, infer pencil. I mean again, to draw with sharp, sharper 3D, you must have an uh, F pencil. Okay. So let me start with sharper 3D. Okay, let's speak. Uh, some participant asking how to design a 3D model. So uh, sharp uh, 3D is, is one of the medium to create a 3D model. This app uh, is very awesome and powerful app to produce the model and very easy to use uh, for me. Let's open, okay, we open the app. Okay. For those just open the app, you can see at uh, the top, the top right corner here, you can see my cursor right here. Uh, you can see you. Start. Yes. Start. Yeah. Mine it says what content are you in are you most is interested in? So shall I just continue or I need to select yeah, one? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Maybe. Okay. What content are you most interested in? So should I make a choice or I can just keep that one? That's the first page. Okay, 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 okay. Just uh, just uh create start designing is it oh, yes yes start designing so you just choose start designing uh, yes uh. just choose start designing yes on top right corner yes so when you open the app open the app uh, you can see at the top right corner here you can see view option here you can see your option so you can choose what you uh, you want so i click here i click here again i click here the touch here so we show the display about uh, what view you want so you can uh, view default view or top view button view front view back view right view okay for me right now i want to use a front view front view it'll be like this it's gonna be like this Follow me? Yes, uh, I think so far so good. Uh, okay, okay. And uh, at the left corner here, you can see the sketch tool. It is sketch tool. And we want to choose sketch. Click your sketch again. Click your sketch button. Sketch button. Okay. We shown this sketch tool. Okay. And choose line and up here. Okay. You can draw line here. Let's say we want to create this shell, okay? Right? Okay, uh, set. Actually, I just uh, open. Okay, it says that connect Apple Pencil. Yes. And already connect my Apple Pencil to my iPad Pro. Okay. It still doesn't work. It doesn't recognize the pen. So where should I place my pencil, actually? Can you please help me? 
So Marisa, can you can you tap? Just tap on the app, and then tap whatever on the app. Yes, I've I've tap. Nothing happened. It just says that connect Apple Pencil. Uh, can you open Keynote? Can you open Keynote and and try to scribble on Keynote? Open Keynote and try to scribble uh, yes, on Keynote. Um, yes, I'm um, I'm open my Keynote. Okay, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Use the Apple Pencil. Yeah, I can scribble on my keynote. Okay, go back to the app. All right. Because it should be automatic. Should be automatically. So can you can you? Is it working? Connect Apple Pencil. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you go to the setting and check? No, the because it can scribble on Keynote, it means your Apple Pencil is already connected to your iPad. Yes, yes. that's why. But, but we're not sure why why the apps cannot recognize your Apple Pencil. So mm, that's why, can and I cannot find it. <laughs> can you try to, you try to uh, off and on again? So she uh, turn off and on again and check. Okay, sure. Okay, okay. Probably you can proceed first. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, so are we continue? So, uh, let's connect here again. At the left corner here, you can see the sketch tool and choose a line, arc, line, line, dash arc. Okay, you can draw one by one like this, like this. So, for me, I want to use, uh, use the rectangle, the rectangle, because I want to create, uh, make a simple, simple box. So you can uh, you can use uh, the rectangle here. So here, and then you can draw. Can you follow me? You can draw, actually draw. It will appear like this. Right. All right. For the height, if you can see the measurement for the height here. A centimeter. A centimeter. Okay. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. For the height, we just tap on the uh, dotted line. Is it? Yes. 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 Okay. The numbers. Just the numbers, here. Yeah. The numbers here. Yes. Tap the numbers here. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you, doctor. So tap the numbers here. You can change your height. For me, I want to make it uh, about two hundred centimeter. Right. So you can zoom out. Make, uh, some. Okay. For me, uh, this is you can see the midpoint here. Midpoint here. So you can adjust the length here. You can tap, then tap again at the number here. Meter. Change to one hundred centimeter. Right. It is my in Bible, in Bible to repeat again every time we want to change anything, we just tap on the number and the calculator will come out and we just adjust. Is it is that so right? All right, okay, that's right. Okay, just so good. I think the... everyone is following. Okay, okay, okay thank you, doctor. So, uh, for my planning, this is high about 200 and for the length is about 150. So, everything okay, right? right. So, uh, for my planning. So you can adjust your dimension. You can adjust your dimension here. Okay. So for me, I want to bring it uh, the shape. Center. That's at the center. You can see the dot here. Dot here. You can tap and then bring like this. Okay. So far, okay. Uh, is the dot for us to move uh, the uh, object? Move. Yes. To move the object, all right. So if we need to move the object, we just tap on the dot in the middle. Yeah, what's that? Yes. yes. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, this is my frame. So about uh, one hundred fifty, about two two hundred centimeter. So I want to lock uh, the frame. 
here. Okay, you can see the lock button on the, on the button right. Okay, you must you must tap on the line first. Line first, and then you can see the lock button here. So I want the, I I don't want uh different uh, moving. So you can press lock. Okay, so this thing uh not moving anymore. Not moving anymore. Okay, I press. Yes, yes, it's still here, not moving. Okay. Okay, right? So, uh, now, participant can follow me. Okay, uh, maybe anyone can respond in the chat box. Is everything okay so far? Anything, any part that you need? Um, or probably if they need to, uh, they can, uh, I mean, watch the recorded video later as for now just focus on um whatever being done by Ustaz Ridwan and perhaps you may try out later okay thank you Dr. you may continue okay okay thank you okay now we want to create a set uh, surface offset surface so you can click on the sketch uh, icon here you can click on uh, sketch icon then we'll appear the icon so this is offset we want to create offset surface this is that you can click offset and then you can on the line so you can put inside like this put inside like this again i will repeat press the uh, offset icon and tap the line and put inside like this like this so we have a uh, offset uh, my my box okay. with zoom so if you, you can see here at the top line here we can see the midpoint this is the midpoint the midpoint okay the midpoint and right side here also we can see the midpoint okay, okay from this midpoint i want to make uh this distance here and here is the same so I do I create a small line here. Create a small line here. Again, I just create a small line here. Small line here. And then again small line here at the mid point. Okay. What's that? Um when you create the lines you use your apple pencil, right? Yes. Okay. Then uh, when we create uh, our line, so I want to make, I want to specify uh, this. Uh, after I create line, I want to specify this line to be to be horizontal. Why horizontal? I will I will tell you later. So I want to design to be horizontal. Just click the line here, and then you tap horizontal and vertical here. So tap this one. So this line also. I want to make it line to uh, vertical. So just tap this line and tap right. And then also this line from this line and this line we can adjust uh, our distance. Okay, let's like say one about Okay. So this one I to be about thirty. So thirty you must click this line and this line and input you can choose again you can click this line and this small line at the right and click equal so if you see this this is this is about 30 centimeter and here also you can touch about 30 centimeter the same point here right right so if you want to change here to be 40 so right here Want to be 40 and here also okay right for me uh want to create here it's going to be 10 centimeters right here is about 10 centimeter and right side here about 10 centimeter also so uh so then we want to create uh the rack, right we have the box outside box we want to create the rack so 
So we use a pen and just draw. Dash touch the sketch and use a pen and draw like this. From here to here, from here to here, from here. We have a uh, three. Right, right. Okay, yes. Two, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Then, after we uh, create, I want to make this line uh, vertical. So I want to specify this line to make it uh, to make it horizontal. So I just click this line, make this horizontal uh, touch here, horizontal. Okay. This line also touch. And then click horizontal. This line also set horizontal. This line also this line also set horizontal. Okay. Uh, the space here you can see. I zoom my project. Okay. The space here. The space here. 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 The space here. Okay. Uh, let's see. To make it about uh, 12 or 20, I just use the same trick. I just line, just draw a line like this. Right? Okay. And then here also, I just draw so line. So line, okay. Here also. We, we have three lines, three vertical lines. So, specify this line, touch this line and vertical, touch this line and vertical, touch this line and vertical, touch this line. So, for the first line, I want to make it uh, equal. This is about 10. And then here also, I want to be same size. So, just I just click uh, at the line. So, the second line, click here, and then I choose equal. So, you can see here, 10 centimeters. And here also, you can see 10 centimeters. Right? So, Last of two, the last here, and then line here. We have three rack one, two, three, one, two, and three. All right, so um, uh, these three space same size, so we can do the same trick before we just draw a line. Like again. Like again here and just draw a line a line with here. We have three lines. One, two, three. Then just click at the line, uh make it at the line. The line here. So you touch this line and make it vertical, and line here make it vertical, and line here make it vertical. From this uh, meanwhile, um, there is one question um, by Dr. Zakia. Uh, she asks whether is there any difference if we use rectangle to draw the red? No, no different. Actually, it's no different. The same, the same way. Okay, so uh, I think Dr. Zaki has answered your question. Uh, there is no difference if you were to use rectangle to draw the rack, yeah? Yes. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, to make this space the same, uh, you can use uh, the same trick. So, you can click here. You, you want to make here about 40. So, you can adjust here. Distance 40. Okay, so. 
and you click here and this line your what say the first line and second line uh, you can click equal so you can see here about 40 and then you kind of about 40 also right then you click the third line also and five here then you can choose equal so this is our final 2d product so this is our final 2d product so after i finish my my design i want to delete i will to trim my product so i will delete the line i want to trim this line this line this line this line and this line also right so easy then I want to change a uh, 2D design to 3D design. Just uh, just set and any uh, another space and swipe up like this. Again, just set another space and swipe uh, turn up like this. Okay. 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 After you see like this, okay, you can double tap. Double tap here. We show some arrow. So from the arrow, you can uh, increase or decrease the height. You can see from the arrow, you can uh, increase or decrease the height. Okay. So for me, I want to create about uh, sixty height. That's width. The width. The width is uh, the width. Actually, the width about uh, sixty centimeter here, and then. Okay, you can finish your project. Then you touch here, touch here. You want to touch here, touch here, touch here. And this decrease or to make it a little bit or to make it two centimeter. Okay, then you can zoom your. And double tap. Rotate. Rotate. You can do. Double tap too. Sorry. Make it uh, 58. Right. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. And then this is our final product. Good chef. You can record through. Okay. Here. And then this is our final project. To transform, to, to transform from 2D and to 3D. You can see your nice. numbers. Okay. This is your first design, the uh, 2D design, and then we transfer to the 3D design uh, like this. Okay. You get it? Great. I think that should be doable, eh? despite of the some some steps. Uh, it's quite tricky, yeah. especially on the measurement. Yeah, uh, start. So we have to plan, as you said, we need to draw and plan the measurement before we transfer into Sharper 3D. Yes, yes, yes. It's very easy if you have plans first. Huh? Okay. Okay. So any participant can follow me? Or you can follow me? So far, um, there is uh, no question. Uh, uh, only one from um, one participant. Ustad, can we also design the details such as window or door if we want to design a house? Like what? Yes. Uh, SCAD is that uh, SCAD can do? You can design any detail, any details like engine, like uh, so part of. So basically, we can design almost everything. Yes, almost everything here. 
this, right. uh, okay. this app for me is really too easy to use. As I'm a start also, I can use this app. So that means it's so very easy to design, use this sculpture 3D. Take patient as well, start. <laughs> okay. All right. I can start. Okay. So okay, we have more time. Okay. We want to do uh, this one. This one I take from a uh, textbook, uh, RBT textbook from two design technology. So we want to do uh, this design. Okay, can I proceed? Uh, want to give more time? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, oh, sorry, there is there is one more question. How uh, how about human anatomy? Can that be done using Shepard three D? Okay, human anatomy. Uh, no. Uh, about hello uh, human anatomy. Yeah, tak boleh create lah. Yeah, I got this question. Okay. I think human anatomy, you may try the one that um, the session conducted by Dr. Hafiza. Uh, that is on, um, what was the name? Um, Reality Composer. Yes. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. for human anatomy, right? Am I right, Dr. Azma? Yeah. Actually, I, no, no, no. I mean, for Shapa 3D, huh? and 3D image design. So you can design heart, you can design uh, liver. Or whatever you can design actually, but you have to do. You have to go through certain uh, learning learning curve lah to to design that kind of, of thing. But right. yeah, anything three D you can design with Sharper three D, no problem. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, I hope that answered uh, answered the question. So I think uh, probably you can proceed. Uh, Ustaz and Dr. Asma. So Dr. Asma, pass to you uh, to proceed with this design. Sorry, so three D sharp. Uh, continue so, that. Continue, continue, okay. continue with the table. Oh, right? continue continue with the table. Okay, with the table. Okay. I will go fast about the to create this uh, design. So go to number 3D again. So I will design. I design. Okay, the table. We did it this. Delete this, delete this. Okay. So this design. From the top, you must create the base, the base, base, okay. base of the table. So you must create use. You can use also the rectangle here. Here can you? You see the in the line in the design is about uh five hundred. You can change. About mm or cm or meter inch foot. Okay, so it is about uh, five hundred mm. So right. right, okay. And then here I want to be four hundred mm. Okay, and you must create the offset again. Offset again. So how to create offset? You just create the offset button here. And line and line and foot. Like this. Okay. Uh, two books here. And then we want to create the again you can you can use the rectangle again. Create here. One to here. Okay. Right. You can create one here. So I want to make it uh forty two hundred forty four one hundred and forty here and then here about the big more seventy okay right and I want to make it a uh, space uh here. From here to here, so you must use the same thing. You must draw line, line here. So we create here to here. And 
you can adjust what width you want. Okay, okay here I want to make it. The line here, I want to make it horizontal line here. So, this one and this one, so you can adjust this. You have the line here. Okay. Then I want to copy this box to another side. So you can see if you double tap here, you can see the plus button here. The plus button, if you tap here, and you can use the arrow and bring up so again. If it again, tap the plus button here. If you want to copy, and you can bring here like this. Okay, right. So we have two box here. Then uh, we want to create the top of the table. So to create top of the top of the table, you must use. How, how did you zoom out? Or zoom in? Okay. Use two finger. Uh, Just use two yes, using your fingers. The all right pinch in and pinch out oh pinch yes okay okay thank you yes pinch thank you okay and then we want to create uh to create the top, the top of the table you can use it so okay, we can use my tango also is about yes about one thousand Okay. So here we must create a circle. Here. Okay. And then we want to copy. We, we, we can do the same. We can make it. Touch the plus and then drag here. Okay. You can follow me? Uh, 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 so I'm so sorry, faster. I want to send from the. Uh, one question from the participant. Um, can we use mirror function to copy the rectangle? Yes, mirror function you can uh, you can use also, but it's uh, very easy. If you just plus tap the plus button, you can move uh, move the the box to the up. Okay, like me again. I, yeah. I I repeat again. Okay. So okay. You can use you can draw here. Then we want to copy this shape. We just tap on the center, so you can touch the plus button, and then the arrow here you can click. Mm. So, uh, so I want to yes, trim. Yes. Okay. So I want to trim this uh, table to be uh, circle. So you can. Touch the sketch and then touch the trim here. You can trim your table. So I want to remove this, 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 and this one. And this. All right, we have the uh, top of the table. So you can uh, make it tangent, tangent here. Here we make it tangent, and here also we make it tangent. Here also we can touch to make it tangent. So we can touch to make it tangent. So we have the part of the table. Also the same. If you want to change to transform to the three D box, you can use your finger and swipe up like this, and then you can push in. Double tap. So for now, we want to create uh, the line length. Okay. 
I think I can hear you clearly, but I'm not sure others. Maybe the line. Okay, so far so good. Okay. So, yeah, I think you, some, uh, we, we are missing you once in a while. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So if you double tap here, you can see the All right. arrow. You can up, make it up, and then up again, and then move to the top of the table. So you can see here, he is over. Uh, table you can adjust to make it better. Okay. Actually, this is our more center. More center, yes. Okay, this is our simple product to produce uh -huh. some table. So, this is our product before this is 2D product, and then we transform to the 3D product, like this is our final. Yeah. It's very easy to transform. Oh. You can view for three dimension. Okay. Okay. So I think this opportunity I pass to Dr. Alma to uh, to tell you about the. Great. Uh, you who said here at Asma. Yeah. 
Rizwan, excellent. Uh, how many times we have the time? Uh, we have about five to ten minutes more. Okay. So, uh, there are a lot of teachers in, in Shabba 3D. So five to ten minutes, I think I can, I can show you one, one feature which is very important. And then this, this one is regarding the the questions whether we can we can draw the anatomy or uh, or anything else which is not a rectangular shape like what Ustad has shared. See that what Ustad has shared is is uh, it's like a rectangular shape mostly, and then you can uh, you can adjust the the edge of the of the rectangle to be a bit soft and and so on. Okay, so let me share the screen first. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Is my screen? All right. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. So, can you see here this shape? So, this shape here is it's like a bowling, bowling ball, right? So it's not rectangular, but it yeah. So it's uh, yeah, ball pin. So it's not rectangular, so it's like uh, a very uh, smooth shape. So this one you can draw as well in, in Sharper 3D. And also this one here. Yeah. Nice. So this one also we can we can we can we can draw it in Sharper 3D. And also complicated shape like uh, like this spring, yeah. So this one is related to my subject mechanical vibration. We we use a spring element quite a lot. So this one is very useful to my subject. Okay. So let's 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 draw something something like this. Yeah, something like this. So we can open the new the new uh, the new screen, the new page. So let's say I want to go to the left. Okay. So now, <clears throat> so using sketch instead of uh, what Ustad has has shown before, it's using only a line, yeah, only a line. But also we can use spline. So this spline is is important if you want to use a line which is not straight line, yeah. So it's a cur cur curvy line, so we can use spline. Yeah? So if you choose line, so you notice here there are there are press that one, there are control and fit. So there are two two types of line. Eh? So you can you can choose any one. You can choose any 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 of the these two. So I choose control. Then I draw shape something like this, let's say. Sorry, I repeat again. I line. So every time you want to change the direction, you have to press a little bit your Apple pencil. I repeat again. So sometimes it's Your apple pencil. Sometimes it doesn't respond. <laughs> so the apple pencils need to behave as well. <laughs> hmm. I I choose fit, and then let's see. Uh, I think we, we, yeah, perhaps it's an internet follow? connection because we are using it once in a while. Hello? Okay, it can, can you follow, yeah? Still follow, yeah? I still follow, yeah. Right. Yeah. 
So just draw my my pencil is not pressed. So far, okay. Then none from the participant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone is following. Yeah, it's just my my pencil is not responding when when I click. Have to repeat that again. Sorry. Every time when we want to change the direction, we need to press our pencil uh, harder. Is that so, Dr. Azma? Not too harder, eh? Not too hard, eh? Okay. <laughs> it's just yeah. harder than usual. Yeah. Yeah. So, not too hard. That's why I, I, I missed the, the point. So, it's just um, you have to be used to it. So, you can, by practice, you can do it very quickly. So, Again, for every line in, in Shepard 3D, when you want to adjust the line, you have to, uh, to tap first, eh? Tap first the, the that, let's say, that dot, and then adjust whatever you want, eh? So tap that dot first, until the arrow is coming out, then you can adjust. So let's say you will in the right kind of part. Okay. Right. So All right. what we have to do now, if we is uh, that we have to close, we have to close the the line, so we can choose uh, that line arc here. So just take the straight line, the straight line there. Yeah. So we close the line. Mm. Can you hear me? Eh? Can you hear me? Yeah, I think yeah. everyone is following. Yes, we can hear you. All right. Okay, so now we have this this face here. We have this face here. So if we follow what Ustad has, has shown before, if we <clears throat> if we pull it up, then it will become uh, the 3D the 3D objects, right? But we don't want this kind of shapes. What we want is a, it's a it's a smooth surface which is a, a round. So the tools that we have to do here, so let me edit this one. Is we call it, so go to tools here, go to tools, and then choose revolve. Yeah, just this one, revolve. revolve. Yeah. So if you tap revolve, and then it will say here, select faces and axis to revolve. So this one, we want this kind, this, this face. And then it will say select an axis to revolve. So we we need to define what is the reference axis. Yeah, what is the reference axis? We want to revolve this kind of body. So we want this axis, yeah, the middle part. So we just tap that axis. So there you go. So we have this kind of okay. thing. Nice. Okay. So this one is functions of revolve. Great. Okay. So then the same thing if you want uh, to revolve one more body. If you want to revolve one more body, let's say I'll draw something here. Now we have another face. Revolve you. Okay. So now we want to revolve that face. Yeah? So we want to revolve that face first. Uh, choose tools as well. And then revolve. 
choose revolve select faces so we select this one and then select axis yeah i see so it's a nice uh, lamp <laughs> yeah so it's become lamp okay so can can you do it revolve. yeah i think everyone is uh, following just remember if you need a soft surface like a circular surface you just need to use a uh, tap on the tools and select revolve yeah select so revolve yes. yes i think um uh, everyone is following so far uh, there is no question in the chat box so we hope that the participants are able to follow or perhaps you can um watch the recorded uh, version of this session so that uh, it will help you whenever you are trying to do it on your own later okay, i think uh perhaps uh, you may have like about one or two minutes to conclude, uh, Dr. Azma and uh, Okay, so if you want to export, yeah, if you want to use the uh, the 3D model into our our content, so then we can export our content. So remember, the export feature is only in Pro version, eh? So you have to apply the Pro version. As long as you are educators, you can get the Pro version for one year. And then if it is done for one year, you can extend for another one year and then extend for another one year and so on. Yeah. So as long as you are educators, we are working in education sector, you can get the features. But you have to to fill in the, the form and then uh, photo of your ID, student ID or a lecturer ID or teacher ID and so on and then post it online. Eh? So, yeah, I think uh, I have shared uh, the link or the YouTube link prepared by the S. Dr. Muhammad Zaid on how to get free version of uh, Shepherd 3D. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so get that one and then you can get the pro features. So let's see, I want to export this table, what Ustad has done before. Yeah. So now we have uh, various of export. Yeah. So 3D model, if you want to use 3D model, you can you can have that one. But if you want just a image, static image, so we can choose image. Right. So this one here at the bottom here, we have several functions. If you tap this one, this one, the background will be transparent. So if you need background transparent, choose that one. So this one grid is without grid. So this one is transparent background without grid. Say we want to choose this one. So just take a photo here. It's like a screenshot. Take a screenshot and it's already safe in photo. So if I go to photo, yeah. this is our our 3D image. Yeah. Nice. So you can you can paste it in. Let's see. You open Keynote. Notes. Paste your product here. Okay. Okay. Great. So I think that's it, uh, Dr. Harwati. Thank you very much for participants. Okay, uh, Ustaz Rizwan, any words from you? Okay, for my conclusion, okay. Uh, for my conclusion today to all participants, you must uh, explore these awesome and powerful uh, apps that you can apply in your subject to get more engaging and more enjoy in your subject. Okay, thank you. Right, agree. Uh, okay, thank you so much, uh, Ustaz Rizwan and uh, Associate Professor Dr. Azma Putra for today's sharing on uh, Shepherd 3D. So we really hope that uh, all participants can give it a try on uh, using Shepherd 3D. And also we have shared um, how um, uh, participants can get the free version of uh, Shepherd 3D uh, with the video link. Uh, provided by uh, Dr. Muhammad Zaid, it is Dr. Muhammad Zaid from UTEM. He prepared the video. Kindly watch the video and see how you can get the pro version of the Shepherd 3D for educators. Okay, again, we would like to say thank you, uh, Dr. Associate Professor Dr. Azamal Putra and, and also uh, Ustaz Rizwan for the great sharing on 
are developing 3D models for asynchronous teaching using Shepard PD. Uh, before that, any questions from the participants? Uh, I have forgotten to ask because I've seen in the chat box there is no questions. Uh, perhaps anyone would like to say anything before I end the session? Any participant? Yes. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Anyone would like to ask? Yeah. Hi, from PISAS. Uh, can we can we um exist the dimension for the drawing? Okay. Who would like to answer that? Uh, PM Doctor Asma Putra or such please. Can we measure what was the question just now? Drawing. The dimension. The dimension, dimension of the drawing. Okay. Yeah. Can we measure the dimension for a drawing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, when, when, hello, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hear you, so when, when we do the drawing, uh, like what Ustad has, has shown before, the first, the first one is we enter the, the dimensions, right? Uh, uh, but the dimension is not appear uh, in the drawing. Oh, that means it, so, yes, the measurement of the dimension for the object yeah. can be That's correct. Uh, set as appear in the drawing or do we have to put it in keynote first and then it just mm. on the dimension mm. using other yeah. uh, tools because if um, i'm not sure i think we we can't i think we cannot because if you want to display all the drawing it will be very messy and and so far i haven't found that we can show the drawing but this one is here maybe we can put it in keynote and then from there we, we so measurement important yeah important important di uh, dimensions of the object only so not right. from the app i think uh, seems like like in, in civil engineering we dimensions in the drawing that's why i asked yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right so so the answer is no eh? dr azma putra maybe you will have to put in a so, different platform and then put the dimension yeah maybe Man, yes, still. Like we, we paste it in the keynote and then from there you can you can go put it dimension mm -hmm. manually. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, is there any more? One more question perhaps before I uh, end the session? Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so uh, because uh, we need to catch up with the time. So I think again, thank you so much, uh, PM Dr. Azma Putra and Ustaz Rizwan, if you free to join our learning community and you may throw your question there, we will we have um, many uh, people who can actually answer to your question. So you just join the our FB group and uh, feel free to share anything that you have done with um, with us. And with that, um, thank you very much again, Dr. Azma Putra and Ustaz Rizwan. Uh, to all participants, thank you so much for spending your time with us today. Uh, we would appreciate if you could kindly provide us your feedback for this session. This is our second last session. Uh, we will have our final session tomorrow and uh, who knows uh, if we will have more, we will uh, also let you know in our uh, FB group. Okay, kindly help us.